All right, guys, it's a wet day. I'm in an area that is absolutely loaded with rocks. You can see right here behind me, there's some. And we're gonna be flipping them today, seeing what's under them. Hopefully, we see some snakes. Ooh, garters. Three garters. Oh, grab that one. Oh. Oh. Hmm. That's funny. I'm just gonna put these guys in the grass so that I don't put the rock back down on them. There you go. Oh. Ring neck. Oh. Oh. It's getting away. Oh well. Oop, ring neck. Hey. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, wow, that is a nice looking red belly. Look at that. That's so orange. That guy's really orange just for a red-bellied snake around here. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that's a really vibrant one. Man, so not only is this snake super orange in its base color on top, but the belly is also super nice looking. What a neat little snake. All right, well, we're gonna put her right back where she came from. Keep looking around. Wow, that was a good rock. Oh my God. Those have to be hognose snake eggs. Holy smokes. All right, we gotta be really careful and put this back down. I'm gonna get you guys a little bit of a better look though. All right, so those down there are definitely Eastern hognose snake eggs. And I know that because there are a lot of hognose snakes in this area. So as you can see, these eggs are definitely about the size of a quarter or something like that, an oval shaped. And I've gotta be really careful to make sure to put this rock down extremely gently without harming the eggs and without disturbing the habitat. So I'm gonna do that off camera and uh, get these things back where they need to be. All right, so I've done the best I could, sealed the dirt back around it so the moisture seal is how it was. And uh, now we know we're not gonna disturb this rock and hopefully we can come back to this closer to the fall and see those things hatch. Milk. <laughs> it's getting away. All right, so that milk snake got down a hole. Usually in those situations, it's best to just let go and let it go, which is what I did off camera. I thought I could get it, and then it was just kind of too much of the snake got down the hole, and it's not worth hurting it for getting a good look at it, so. Oh, milk. There you go. Ugh. Nice. All right, there we go. Got some solid redemption with kind of neat looking milk. I think that face is really unique. It's got all sorts of weird markings on it. In fact, yeah, that is really cool. Imagine this guy when he was young and vibrant. That face would have been pretty killer. But otherwise, you know, he's not the most striking or vibrant milk. Kind of just a pleasant brown color. Lots of gray in between the bands. Good looking snake, um, and we're happy to see him. Glad that we got one after that last one got away. Nice. All right, see you later, buddy. I'm trying to get you to go back where you came from. There you go. Nice. Cool. Oh, 
Rainac. That's the first non-in-shed ring neck I think we found today. And it's quite nice looking. Look at that belly. I wish he did not smell as bad as he did. <laughs> ring neck snake musk is pretty potent, so I'm sure that that helps them out with predators from time to time. Can't say I'm a fan, though. Cool. I'm gonna put him back at his rock here. Such a good looking rock. I'm super on edge about wasp nests because when you're going through this kind of loose rock, you find lots and lots of paper wasp nests, which they're easy to get away from, but man, if they get you, it hurts. You just gotta kind of be on your toes. So I wanted to flip this rock and I'm still going to, but check it out. Whoop. <laughs> pickerel frog sitting on it. Is he good luck? I don't think so. <laughs> pickerel frog. That's funny. Well, this is lucky. Just stumbled across a board right here. I don't think it's laid out by anybody. But it's a good looking board. And I'm sure that there's going to be something under this. Nothing in that layer. Which is kind of ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Nothing? Wow. Found some junk to flip. There's a car hood here. I feel like there's wasps in there. Another piece of tin of some sort. Come on. Ugh. Nothing really. Oh, garter. Oh, and two ring necks. How did I miss those? Huh. Two ring necks sitting right here on top of this block of wood. And then also sitting on top of block of wood. That garter. Well, I guess they must be trying to sit high and dry. I've got to put them under here for now. All right, I took a quick break to eat dinner and now I'm out. I'm gonna flip some boards and we're gonna see what we can find. Lots and lots of tunnels, but no snakes. Whoa, mice. <laughs> There's a mouse. Is this the day that I catch the mouse? Come on, buddy. Move on out of there. There we go. All right, I just flipped this rock. There's a garter hanging out. Ooh. Put it back. Pretty neat. I'm gonna put him down before he poops all over me. All right, this one looks pretty good. Oh, ring neck. Oh, that's so funny, look. Oh, he's going away. Well, I don't know if it folks in time, but he was like out on the crawl. That's kind of neat. Oh, milk. There we go. That's a big milk. Ugh, God. All right, that's a big, healthy milk snake. In my opinion, a little bit nicer than the one we got earlier. Kind of nicer brown colors on it. A little bit more orangey. Still, you know, nothing to necessarily write home about, but that's a fat milk snake. Almost makes me wonder if it's got another snake in it. Look at that guy. All right, well, nice. Let's hope we can get a couple more. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> His tail whipped like right at me. He or she. Ooh. The bugs are suddenly unbearable out here. And uh, I'm walking through some real high grass, so not looking forward to the ticks either. What? A little red-bellied snake. 
so this rock someone left either a person or a bear left it there and I put it back where it was I guess I didn't even see this little red belly until I just turned around that's neat cool I'm gonna put it back under uh, now the correctly placed rock black racer just ducked in here Oop, ring neck Nice. This one's got dots on the belly, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna move him over here, put his rock back, and then he'll find his way down in here. Oop, garter. Garter's in shed. I'm gonna move him real quick. I'm trying to get my boards here. And I don't know why this deer is letting me get so close. Are you seriously still not moving? Dude. What? <laughs> Oh, there's a young one. I'm like 15 feet from this deer. What the hell? Anyway, I'm gonna be going that way. Oh, ring neck. Yay! Yippee! Put it in your pocket. Yay! Quiet. That's Alex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's Alex on the phone. <laughs> All right, be quiet. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was a pretty fun rock flipping session, but it did get dark on me out there and I'm headed home now. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.